What's up you guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be going over five fresh fragrances that I can suggest to you for the summer. Now most of these are gonna be cheaper or affordable fragrances, but some of them are gonna be kind of pricey. But I do wanna keep this video short and sweet, so I will only be talking about five today. And on that note, let's get into it. All right, so number five is gonna be uh, Citrusy white floral fragrance. It's not the loudest. It kind of lasts a while, but it kind of changes into a different fragrance on my skin. It starts with, you know, it's really nice citrus white florals with some musk underneath, but then it somewhat develops into more of a musky, like musky floral with some undertones of some citrus. So the shining of this fragrance really for me is in the opening. And like I said in the past, it reminds me of a vacation fragrance, but not like your standard Virgin Island water or, or anything like that. that's like a beach vacation. It's something that makes me think of like a bike ride in Italy or something. It's something that is this pleasant, it's elegant in, in Away. Five is going to go to John Barbados Artisan Pure. Now, I do suggest this one over every other artisan that's in the line. I have tried the just standard artisan with the darker bottle, but that to me smelled like cat urine. It did not smell good. And that's your favorite uh, John Barbados Artisan. I'm sorry, but to my nose, it was not enjoyable. I don't know if the, the bottle that I smelled was just like spoil or gone bad but this one is significantly better than that and you can find this for probably under 30 bucks if you find it at a rack store i think i got this for like 19 bucks at tj maxx these are generally speaking pretty easy to find at rack stores so when the rack stores open back up by where you are i highly suggest going out and trying to find this one and number four on this list goes to a fragrance that has a sweet citrusy almond vibe to it it is discontinued but it is one that i really enjoy i'm probably gonna wear this tonight honestly because it smells like it costs a lot more money than it actually does it smells really expensive but in reality it's not at all really it's like it's pretty affordable for what it is like i said it has the citruses it has the creamy almondness to it it's a very pleasant summer fragrance now some people don't really enjoy this much and i was in the same boat when i initially got it it really grew on me and i really grew to enjoy it like initially you can go back and watch my video i hated it i did not like it at all whatsoever and i kind of trashed it and i've and i you know, take it back and since then i've, I've bought a few more bottles but guys number four goes to loam ideal cologne by garlene and like i said it just has that that sweet, pleasant citrus scent to it that's just very nice. And like in the opening, you get the undertones of the almondness there. And it's just very, it pulls you in. It smells very high quality. And if you know anything about Garlane, you know that their quality is pretty top tier. And again, guys, that was Lone Udial Cologne by Garlane. The three on this list, we're going to go up just a little bit in price. We're going to go up to probably, I would say about 30 bucks in price. So about 60 to 100 bucks, you can get this. This is the original from the line. This is not a flanker. I do enjoy some of the flankers, but this is the original. This is one that has the masculine, the cardamom, the enjoyable masculine scent that this is. It's a classic, guys. Now, the only downside to this fragrance is that it doesn't perform the best. It doesn't last the best, but the scent is phenomenal. It's honestly, it's like taking the other two and make it more of a, of a refined, almost like a, like a signature scent. Like the other two that I listed, like the Barbados Arson Pure and the Garlane Lone Medial Cologne, those are pretty much primarily going to be your summer scents. This one right here is going to be a great summer scent as well, but could be used as, as a signature scent. Three goes to Loam by YSL. Like I said, guys, this doesn't have the best performance, it, but the scent is just phenomenal. The, the, the opening scent is great. The dry down is going to sit really close to the skin. It's going to, it's going to be basically a fresh, spicy kind of fragrance, leaning more on a spicy to my to my skin at least. Now, if you're only looking for summer scents, I would go for something like Loam Ultum to replace this with it. But this right here is going to be just a well-rounded year-round scent that I think might perform actually better in summer. But like I said, it'd be great for like a year-round scent. And number four on this list is still relatively new to my collection, but it is definitely one of the most enjoyable while also being one of the most expensive. It is the fresher take on Creed Aventus. I may have just spoiled the little surprise there for you, but it was what it is. It is a fresher take on Creed Aventus. It's one that is, to, to my skin, it has the freshness, the mint, the certain fruit notes that, and aspects to it, guys. It is Aventus Cologne. Now the performance on this is kind of not the best for some but for me, it projects very well. It reaches out. It does very well. It almost does, does just as good as Aventus does. Some might argue that. Some might say that, that for them is not is not the same. I'm just gonna tell you guys my experience with this fragrance. Uh, again, you guys, that was Aventus Cologne. And number one on this list is gonna be pretty much just for summer. It's gonna be one that has its refreshing citruses. It has its mint. It has its certain key elements to it that make it smell very expensive. Mostly because it is very expensive. But guys, before I go any further, if you're looking for a way to pick up these last two fragrances without spending an arm and a leg, in the link you'll see Vimba fragrances. That is a site that I'm working with to bring you guys affordable prices on high-end niche fragrances. But number one goes to Zerjoff Renaissance. And I cannot end this video without showing you guys the 
uh, presentation of this bottle. And here we have the front of the bottle here. It's like a frosted glass all the way around here. It's very solid. You have your edges, make it pretty easy to grab onto. You have your gold plate right here. You have the Zerto Renaissance here. With a big old gold cap. Take this guy off. I believe it's supposed to go this way, but take this guy off right here. You have your very solid, heavy cap here with the Zerjoff in there. Yeah, there you go. You can see the, the uh, Zerjoff symbol in there as well. And here is the front with the Zerjoff symbol right there again. This is the most intoxicating citrus opening, I think, of, of any fragrance that I own. One of the best, if not the best, summer fragrances in my collection. Don't like necessarily having this on every single list because it is very expensive and it's kind of difficult to find. Because again, some of you guys have asked who I get my stuff from, Kushik. He now has a uh, business called Vimba Fragrances, which again, that guy's is down, down there. And my link, I think, gives you, I don't know how much percent off, but it, it gives you a nice little chunk off. You guys, again, that is Zerjoff Renaissance. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I wanted to bring you guys this short little sweet video. And y'all, like I always say, keep it gent and love your scent, and I'll see you all next time.